Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking around. Me and Seth here, I keep looking. If you guys keep looking, I'll keep making. And today, I, I want to talk about this looming merge and what we could possibly see for a merge twist, uh, the format, when it's going to happen, things like that. I I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with this merge, and I think there's definitely a discussion to be had. If you guys haven't already, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff because it's free, it's easy, and it really helps the channel out. Okay, so the reason we're even making this video right now is because of the next time on Survivor in the past episode that was shown, where it seemed to be all of the tribes coming to one beach, and it seemed to be the start of what you may call a merge. Now, in the past two seasons, we saw the urn, the merge twist happen at final 12 and what ended up happening was there was two groups of five and then two people who didn't draw a group uh one of those people would get to choose a group to, to root for and the other would be sent to exile island um and so it's two different things there uh, but very similar concept um it, it happened at final 12 though that's the reason that we're all kind of confused now is that this is happening at final 13 there are th 13 players left in the game and it leaves you to wonder is it going to be two rounds of earn the merge do you have to earn the merge two rounds in a row is it going to be a very similar twist but without the hourglass which w we know is not returning for this season or is it something in between so what i think first of all it, it has to be an earn uh, the merge thing this round they're not just going to merge regularly that doesn't really make much sense to me as far as this new era because we know that the earn uh, the, the, the merge component is happening at some point so it's either this round or next round but we can't merge and then have an earn the, the merge thing because there's no point in earning the merge if you've already earned it if that makes any sense so to me it has to be this round or next round or both but it can't be neither we know that the hourglass twist is not c coming back and so it's definitely confirmed that we're not seeing a re re repeat of the past two seasons so we don't have to w worry about that um the idea now comes with is there a new idea or is, is it just and earn the, the merge just like the last two seasons just excluding the, the possibility for the results of the, the challenge to be reversed now before we get into any of these theories my personal opinion is that we shouldn't have any of these twists and that just a, a regular merge would be perfectly fine a regular merge give a merge clue you know in in front of, uh, of everyone to cause drama and that's about it that's really all you need for a merge especially with a cast as decent as solid as this cast and with as many conflicts the conflicts will make the entertainment i feel like you don't need to have the twists make that entertainment and so to me the biggest issue here is that whatever to a twist it's going to be is probably not going to be a positive thing and we're more just hoping that it doesn't completely ruin the merge like the hourglass twist did um, but i'm confident that the players will carry it in some capacity so my first theory is that at 13 they're going to have a a tribe swap basically just a tribe swap um, but they're all going to be on the same beach and then at Final 12 is when they'll do the regular earn the merge twist, except no hourglass to possibly re reverse it. Um, and so again, basically two rounds before the merge uh, is when they all get on the s same beach. So very complicated, but also probably to me the most likely one. The reason that I didn't just go with that is because in the Inside Survivor article that says that the earn the, the merge twist is coming back, um, it says that that's happening at Final 12. And how can you earn the merge if everyone's already on the same beach? Also, them to bring back One World would be a very questionable decision, I'm sure, in their heads, because One World was probably one of the worst seasons, if not the worst season of the show's history. And their first choice is probably not to just, well, let's just do One World again. You know, a twist that was on a season that was absolutely horrible. Another possibility, and one that the more I think about it, the more it just seems like the most logical and safe option, is just that this is a summit they're just meeting one round but before the merge and they get an, an opportunity to talk to, to each other make bonds cause drama and they're going right back to their camp for the last round of the pre-merge and then we'll continue with the earn the merge twist next round this to me seems like the, the most safe option and probably something that they would do following such a 
cold rising twist i guess is the best way to put it um maybe they just play it safe and have a fun summit which this i i would not be opposed to at all the only issue obviously is just the earn the merge twist but if that's going to happen and i'm, I'm assuming that inside survivor is right about it being confirmed then this is like probably the best way to do it now earlier i said we could see a swap we could see a one world twist we could just see simply a summit um but something that i have not considered to this point is something like the jonathan and wanda boot obviously super controversial i don't think the show would do that nowadays but we have to keep it on the table is there some sort of like gimmicky way that someone goes home even if they actually get like a legit shot but it's like a do or die thing um anything that would get somebody out in an odd way i think we have to consider so i'm, I'm gonna put that under an um, umbrella turn of bullshittery so any bullshittery uh we definitely have to c consider that as the show is known to dabble and in, in that group a lot with a lot of their twists i mean the do or die the hourglass it's all just bullshittery and I also want to talk about just with the, the merge looming, who would benefit from these twists the most? So a swap, I think Ryan would probably benefit the most from it, obviously, because Ryan played hor horribly uh, this past round, uh, kind of mi misreading his tribe in such a dire way and being on the bottom of a three person power alliance on his tribe. He could flip and then turn the post merge on this three from coco um i think the person that would benefit from just the same thing that we've seen from the p past two seasons but no hourglass would be really any of those vessi members because they're very strong physically and they have that physical i guess strength is the only way to, to say it like they have dominated and they're very good at cooperation i mean we saw that as soon as NECA goes that group is all of the sudden like looking like iron man and it showed that it was just NECA, and they probably should have just got NECA out first on that tribe and kept justine but you know it is what it is and as far as a one world twist goes since i mentioned that earlier i'd say any vessi members because they're kind of the free agent tribe but they're also bonded together they're like kind of in that perfect middle where they don't have the most numbers but they're not coco who kind of has the, the target from winning those earlier challenges and kind of bonding baka and vessi together in the process and also sammy as well as ellie i think are both benefited by a one world twist because they are the most socially competent people i think in the game to this point i think ellie has the, the most potential but right now her game is in a little bit of a weird spot and sammy has played one of the best games so far in this entire season and so i think those two people would really benefit from, from having access to these other tribes but what do you think what will the merge twist be let me know down below in the comments as always none of this happens without you guys without you guys i'm just a weird guy speaking in a weird microphone and that's what i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace